An investment is a financial commitment made with the hope of earning a profit. When it comes to investing, it's not only acquiring assets or having different sources of income, but venturing into something that really pays you well. To be successful in investing, you must be a smart investor, ever learning from other successful investors. And that is what this video is all about. Today, I'll share with you the seven irrefutable laws of investing compiled from numerous interviews with great investors of all times. These simple but effective laws are game changers. They will guide you on how to respond to risk, make financial decisions, and maximize your profits. So, what are these laws? Never lose money. This is the number one rule of investing according to the sixth richest man in the world, Warren Buffet. The simple truth is, when you have more money to invest, you will make more money. So, having a loss hampers your earning power in the future. To avoid losing money, do not let the potential gain of an investment lure you. Instead, search for its downsides. If the potential risks are not pleasant to you, you might as well let it go. Remember, the higher the risk, the higher the return, and vice versa. You must never forget this principle, because it will help you avoid investment scams. When someone is offering you a low-risk investment with high returns, it would be wise to turn around and walk away from them. On the other hand, you can pick a lesson from Warren Buffet. Naturally, you may undergo a loss. No one is immune to that. However, learn to live frugally. Warren Buffet lives in the same house since 1958 and never fails to pick up McDonald's for breakfast. If you were the sixth richest person in the world, would you live this way? You should learn and incorporate this habit of spending less. When you spend impulsively, you are still losing money because your investment might dissipate in no time. Buy when everyone is fearful. Avoid buying when everyone says it's great. This rule might look daunting, but it is realistic. When the market is not favorable, investors often sell or simply forget about their investments. But that's when the bargains are out in droves. Take the stock market for instance. When stocks are on sale, everyone is afraid to buy. This time can be your chance to increase your wealth. If you buy during this period, by the time the market soars again, you will be earning a lot of money. As Warren Buffet advised, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. To do this effectively, you must avoid following the hurts when it comes to investment decisions. To become a successful investor, you need to lay on your experience in the market. That is, when other investors think positively about a particular stock, the prices would inflate. If you purchase such a stock, you might be running a loss. Usually, when others say it's a dead end, an opportunity looms. So, rely on your guts. You may be the next billionaire if you follow this rule intelligently. Stick to your process. Sam Handel, president of Easterly Investment Partners, said, the best investors develop a process that is consistent and successful over many market cycles. Don't deviate from the tried and true, even if there are short-term challenges that cause you to doubt yourself. What is he trying to say? One of the best approaches that work for investors is the long-term buy and hold approach. That is, don't pull out of an investment because of a temporary decline in the business. If you invest in stocks for decades, it can look sensible to deviate from your plan when the market gets volatile because you are temporarily losing money. However, that's not a wise decision. Warren Buffett has a history of searching for developed companies and then sticking to them for a long period. For instance, Berkshire Hathaway had held on to its investments in Coca-Cola for more than 34 years. Because it is a long-term investment, it yields great profit. Coca-Cola generates returns of 5,810% for his company after factoring in reinvested dividends. This rule works for Buffett. It might work for you as well. Buffett advises, if you are not willing to own a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. Understand your investments. A common piece of advice from successful investors is, don't invest in a product you don't understand and ensure the risks have been disclosed to you before investing. You need to understand how whatever you are investing in works. If you are buying a stock, you need to know the risks involved and when the stock is likely to yield profit. If you are purchasing a fund, you need an in-debt analysis of its track record and costs. If it's an annuity, it is crucial that you know how an annuity works and what your rights are. I would love to share the example of Buffett again. Buffett doesn't invest in plans he doesn't understand. 
An example is cryptocurrency, he said. I get enough trouble with things I think I know something about. Why in the world should I take a long or short position in something I don't know anything about? I think you should think about that too. In a nutshell, choose a company or product that you have in-depth knowledge of. Though some companies may look promising, it is inadvisable to invest in them if you don't fully comprehend their mode of operation. Diversify your portfolio. There is an old saying that goes thus, don't keep your eggs in one basket. This statement is applicable in the field of investment as well. You shouldn't concentrate all your effort and earnings on one investment. To reduce risks, keep your portfolio diversified. Having your portfolio in only one or two stocks is unsafe, regardless of the returns. Mindy Yu, former director of investment at Stash said, if I had to choose one strategy to keep in mind when investing, it would be diversification. Diversification can help you better whether the stock market is up or down. Thus, diversification shouldn't be what you wave off. If you apply it, when one of your investment options is not performing well, your mind will be at rest. It is safer to lose a fraction of your money than all your money. I guess that's basic. If you invest in stocks, you can diversify into bonds or even real estate funds that may perform differently in various economic conditions. Think like an owner. Chris Graff, co-chief investment officer at RMB Capital said, Think like an owner. Remember that you are investing in businesses, not just stocks. To think like an owner, you shouldn't see your investment like gambling where you hope to catch the big fish by dropping a little hook. You must not forget that real businesses stand behind your stocks. As the business performs well or poorly over time, the company's stock is likely to be affected. So how do you think like an owner? You must be able to analyze the fundamentals and valuation and sketch an opinion about how the business will perform in the future. You should ensure that the management team is strong and aligned with the interest of its shareholders and that the establishment is in a strong financial and competitive position. In a nutshell, don't dump your money somewhere and then rest your back. Have an emergency fund. Keep 5% of your assets in cash because challenges happen in life. This advice brings from Craig Kirstner, president of retirement planning services at Stewart Estate Planning Wealth Advisor in Pompano Beach, Florida. To keep investing long term, you need to keep some cash as your emergency fund. This will also keep you steady during tough times. The best way to do this is to have six months of expenses in your saving account. Even if you want to sell some of your investment, it should be when they are down. With an emergency fund in place, challenges won't baffle you or make you lose your investments untimely. You won't have to get into debt as well, as you already have what it takes to counter the situation. You may be a newbie in the world of investing. If yes, definitely, you will have many questions. Some of the questions that may puzzle you are, how much do I need to invest? Are there any investment strategies? What are the questions to ask before agreeing to an investment plan? Having shared the rules, I find it imperative to share some tips on how to start as well. What's the use of the rules if you haven't started at all? Here we go. How to start investing. Start early. To have a huge return on your money, you need to start investing early. With compound earnings, your investment returns can start earning their returns. That's a huge advantage for you. Likewise, get rid of the idea that you need a lot of money before you can invest. You have numerous investments available to investors with a little capital. Also, ensure that you contribute regularly to your investments. What you need to do is focus on what you can afford according to your financial situation and goals. St. Petersburg, Florida-based certified financial planner said, it doesn't matter if it's $5,000 or $50,000 per month. Have a regular contribution to your investments. Open an investment account. Your investment account should be based on your goals. Why do you want to invest? Are you investing your money in preparation for your retirement? Are you investing to retrieve your money after a short time? Define your financial goals, come up with a plan, and work with your strategy. If you are investing for retirement, you should consider opening an individual retirement account, like a traditional retirement account or Roth retirement account if you do not have access to an employer-sponsored account. If you have other goals aside from retirement plans, you should consider a taxable brokerage account. This gives you the chance to withdraw your money without paying additional fees or penalties. Embrace an investment strategy. Having chosen the investment account that suits you, the next stage is to choose an investment strategy. 
You may be wondering what an investment strategy means. These are sets of principles that guide your investment decisions. Your investment strategy depends on your risk tolerance, investing style, financial goals, and access to capital. Some investment strategies are value investing, growth investing, or momentum investing. Ensure that you have an in-depth understanding of these strategies before you choose one. Have a deep understanding of your investment goal. Without a clearly defined investment goal, it's impossible to have a proper investment strategy. Now that you've decided you want to invest, you've got to come up with a plan. Your plan serves as a guide to attaining your financial goal. There is no universal guide or approach for this. You must be specific about it. When you have a specific investment goal, it's much easier to track your progress, measure your success, and review your strategies when needed. Just before I conclude this video, remember, there will always be hard times and good times. Prices will always go up and down. Don't allow yourself to be plagued with the fear of losing your money. If you know how to navigate through the volatility, then you will definitely make money. And if you've ever made some mistakes in the past, accept your mistakes and move forward, while equipped with new learnings. We all make mistakes, and what's important is we learn from them. Consider whatever money you lose in investments as the tuition you pay to learn how to properly do it next time. In conclusion, investing requires that you do what is right and avoid what is wrong. As a good investor, you must know how to abide by the seven rules expatiated in this video. If you are a newbie, stick to the tips on how to start investing and enjoy your smooth ride as an investor. Thanks for watching.